Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about this sponsored product from Holystone. This is HS17 5G. So this is really cool uh, drone for the price point. It has really cool feature. You get two batteries like this and you get about uh, 30 minutes uh, flight time for each battery, which is super cool. And the first thing first, you can see once you hold this remote control in your hand, you immediately feel the quality. So you can just pull this thing out and you can just store your uh, phone. So let's do that. So this comes out and initially you can take this out and these were here. So in order to store these here, you can just place them right inside here. So it, for like if you carrying in your bag or whatever, whatever the situation, you might want to take it off. That's how you do that and where you store it so you don't lose them. So once you take out from the uh, package, you can just press it firmly and you can see it just fits uh, nicely. So you would just place your phone here. You can see it has nice large area. You can... Uh, place your large phone I have iPhone 15 Pro Max it fits nice and easy without any trouble so I'm using my phone I cannot show right now with how it's used but that's how you use it if you don't use it you would just uh, close it and it will stay like that and the operation is very easy once you press and hold you will see that it will uh, turn on you have a bunch of uh, information it will tell you it is connecting let me turn this on so it stops so once you press and hold three seconds you will see that it's on and the remote is connected and it is activating the gps mode it has really cool features so let's actually let's take this thing off so you can just um, see how much information you have uh, on the remote right now it is connected to gps and you can change the speed so once you press the speed you will see that it's showing uh, like camera mode and sport mode. You have two different modes, and you can uh, rotate and calibrate the, uh, the GPS. And this is going to, if you press and hold this, it will uh, deactivate and activate the headless mode. You can see once you press that, it will tell you that it is in headless mode. And over here, once you press this, uh, it will uh, activate the, uh, the motors on this. And you press again, it will just take off. And that's pretty much it on the remote. Um, you have also actually, this uh, will allow you to turn on. The, you can see, I am just pointing, changing the angle of the camera. That is really cool feature. You can easily adjust the angle of the camera with this and over here you can press this button to take picture and take press this to take videos that is really cool and on this side you have a charging port uses a type c cable uh, you get two of them you can see you have type c cables here to charge the batteries and the remote as well you got eight pieces of the propels in case you damage them you need to replace it and you have user manual and some other information for the battery also you get really nice uh, carrying bag it just uh, holds the batteries inside here you place the remote on the bottom and you put this on and the drone goes inside there and for the drone you can see it has this uh, kind of gimbal you can see it just has this uh, nice feature it, it you will still get some shakiness but it reduces uh, so once you want to use it you would just open all the legs like this the arms you would uh, open the the top first when you open it when you close you will close the bottom first i mean uh, yes and the same thing you would just close just like that and from the front you see it there is a green light it's just indication the, the drone is on and over here on the back you have the battery if you press this you will see it will just uh, shut it off if you press and hold three seconds you can see 
it just uh, turn on and you get some light indicators as well so you will see there is a sd card uh, socket here you would just place your sd card it support up to 128 gigabyte uh, card so you can easily independently out of your uh, phone memory it will just record everything on the uh, drone itself that is really cool feature if you don't even if you don't use your uh, phone uh, you can just record that is cool and i'm gonna show you guys how it's fly so once you place the drone on the ground you would see there is green light it you're supposed to see green light it's flashing and it's getting steady light so once it's showing the green light uh, you can take off and make sure nothing around the, the propels so in order to take off you press this button you can see it activates the propels and the engine uh, right now it's ready i can push it up and it can just goes just like that so i'm gonna keep it a little bit low to show you guys some of the features so on the remote you can also see like uh, some information right now it has a, a standby uh, mode like uh, it's try to keep the height settings you let it go so as soon as you leave your finger from the uh, the, the knob you, it will just stay where you left it so over here you can see it is just really easy to uh, move around it's very responsive i just want to show you guys like for example if you come here uh, I don't know if you can see the camera here if I just press it down you can see the camera goes up and down so that is how it works for the camera and you have a bunch of other options so you can just uh, press this to land it so it has like uh, like self landing option so uh, once you press the landing it will go up uh, in the air if it's not around 65 feet so it's going to go all the way up and then it will just uh, position itself and it will come back. So let me see if I can do that actually. So I just press. You can see it was close to the ground. It just landed. But uh, I'm going to run it again. So let's do that. So I hope you can. So I'm going to go all the way up somewhere. I will point to the camera one second so right there i hope you can see so i'm just gonna press land you can see it just comes and just lands by itself as you can see as you can see it just land so let's do another try so you, you press you fire up and it just take off so i'm going to go that direction and i will just position the camera and show you guys how it goes as you can see we are over there let's go higher and i'm gonna press the landing button you can see it just rotates and it will just go up just like that let me take the camera you can see it just goes all the way up i'm not doing anything you can see i'm not touching it it just spins around position itself and you can see it's just coming down it's not going to land exactly the same spot maybe within like couple feet away but you can see it's pretty much close we were right here and it just land over there which is uh, acceptable as you can see it just land so you have plenty of things to do with this thing overall very easy to use you can just take pictures take uh, videos you can easily land on it has uh, application as well headless mode uh, it can follow you and you get 60 minutes almost 60 minutes uh, uh, flight time which is really cool 
so for the price point that is actually pretty uh, good i have tested different model from this brand and so far this is one of the best uh, the the ease of the the remote uh, how it how it works so that's a really cool uh, unit i hope you guys liked it and you will enjoy as much as i do thank you for watching